Hello everyone. So we have already written a code uh, to um, uh, to encrypt uh, and do an encryption using Caesar's uh, cipher. And um, so we will. So we have this is Caesar cipher, right? So this is part two so we did so, so we have c a b become suppose k is one we shift letter by one so it's become d b c so this is our encrypted word and uh, so this is the way we went so now uh, let us do the other way around this is our encrypted word so we're going to decrypt it so we are going to go this way so uh, how do we do it so we have um, we also uh, as usual we need the alphabet so let's say string a b c d e f up to z and so say index is at 0 1 2 3 etc and this is say 25 and say let's keep k equal to 1 and this is our string now so this is a uh, this is our string say s equal to that so first what we do we can basically what we have to do so first say it's d this is 3 so i can do the reverse so k is 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 so and i can look at what is at that place it's c so i get c and then i can do uh, b minus 1 0 and i get a and so on so so let us say we start with what so we start by um so we look at right uh four right the first letter the first letter and then what we do we'll find uh we will find the in index right so we can take alpha and then we can uh, look at index value uh, index value means at uh, so we'll ask where letter comes in in alpha right so where does it come so let us call it as index value and now I can basically take that index value right and subtract my k and look at what so this is my say new index and end what is at an end right what is the letter at a new index is d d is 3 3 minus 1 2 so what is at 2 so that is the new letter and then we can we found the new letter now i can just keep on accumulating right so i can for example here define my d encrypted is equal to an empty string i can keep on adding d crypt plus my new letter right and this is this will be my new d crypt so so this is fine right and then basically we can keep on doing it and go back here maybe it's a loop right maybe for loop uh, so now so this is fine but suppose my first letter is a and k is equal to one uh, so now zero minus one so i have to find zero minus one is a negative number so minus one right and suppose it is b and k is equal to it has to be uh um it will be minus uh so suppose if this case minus two minus again it is minus one right so 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 zero minus one minus one so minus one has to become 25 so for this so in the case of a negative shift suppose when you are shifting you're getting a negative number we need to go to the other side right so we can use the same trick that we used uh, for here 
we can do the same more or less operator percentage 26 so which basically is fine so one percentage 26 will be one two percentage 26 two it's, it works for every other number now when it's negative number right so if I have minus 1 percentage 26 right this it will become 25 so let us that uh, just to clarify if it is uh, if it is clear it's all good uh, if you want some uh, clarification so the so we have how we come up with numbers so this is basically the remainder but we have a negative number here right so so the way we do is minus one right we first we look at the floor 26 right so i have 0, 0 0.0 something right i get the answer negative now it's a floor so i need to the way the python does is find the closest integer which is less than this value which will be basically minus one so this gives minus one so now minus one times 26 right plus something right has to be minus one right so that is what so minus 26 plus 25 is so minus one so that is our modulus so that is this value and then again if it is minus 2 we get uh person 26 is 24 and so forth so it will so in that way it will work so if this uh if you want to read more about that uh you could uh look at the, the stack overflow there's a nice discussion over there and um uh, so to, to, to go through the details if you would like to and um, and so now let us uh, do back to let's go back and see how it works in Python as code it right so where is it here so we can say vi c cipher right maybe part two something like that so we are going to do the decryption, right? Decrypt it. So let us start. Uh, if we are import string, right? And we need alpha. Let's call remember string dot as key. Let's keep everything lowercase. And as let's start with the um, cab, right? What was our th uh, thing? Cab is dbc, right? D B C and we need a decrypt empty string and now basically we say for right, a letter in S uh, we need to find our index value of the letter in the alphabet so al dot index of what our index of letter right now we need to shift it and find the new index so index minus k which is not defined let's keep k equal to one and then we saw that to make it fold it back uh, let's go fold it forward this time we need this modulus model operator and uh, and now we have to find the letter at end, the new letter. So alpha of and end, right? And then we accumulate it. So decrypt, right? Plus equal to and letter, right? And then you can look at what is print as comma D right so let us it's a cap right it works so now we can try something complex so i have pulled out that website so this is uh this text right for shift four has to be wonderful life so i'm copy that 
so I'm gonna modify here and pull that so we want say let's do the lower right because we are using the lower string dot lower it will give me the lower letters and then let's look at see if it works it's okay of course please for four that is please four. it's a wonderful life yeah so it's working so so this is a very um since we already done the encryption the decryption is uh, straightforward the main thing that something which is uh, which you have this is a more an understanding of how the python is implemented is this a bit curious about this uh, um, so you could uh, read more about it it's the way uh, what it is implemented in python and explanation that we have already seen and this is simple so it's almost the reverse of what we have done and just minus and take the more or less and then keep accumulating and we see, use the for loop and we use the string module and we have this attribute which gives me the lower letters as a string and there's another method we can use so we have a decrypted uh, using this uh, sci uh, Caesar cipher uh, so uh, I believe it was uh, easy to follow and uh, thank you so very much for watching